Crews and residents are still in cleanup mode following Sunday's massive monsoon storm. While people continue to assess and make repairs, what they can't fix, down cacti. 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney spoke with a resident who lost a saguaro and his experience dealing with the symbol of the saguaro, symbol of the desert during monsoon. Uh, when I moved here 44 years ago in 79, uh, that cactus was probably 10 or 12 feet tall. Doug Groenhoff moved into his house nearly four decades ago, watching many saguaro cacti grow exponentially over the years to some of the tallest in his neighborhood. It was up to about 30 feet, which kind of bothered me being that close to the house. That worry turning into a reality this past weekend. I looked out my computer room window and so I go, that looks like the end of a saguaro lay there. <laughs> well, I looked out the living room window and it's gone. <laughs> While saguaro cacti falling around many of the national parks in Arizona isn't something to fear, for many residents, the larger the cacti, the larger the trouble. I got lucky on this one because it missed, missed the corner of the house by about six, seven feet. However, Groenhoff, who has dozens of cacti on his property, knows the risk heavy rainfall can bring to the larger cacti. The height adds a lot more wind resistance to it. And like I said, this one, didn't have a tap root that went straight down. It had a lot of big roots that went out to the side, but nothing, it was just flat on the bottom. The saguaro cactus plays a vital role in Southern Arizona's ecosystem, providing a food source and shelter for many animals, according to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. But for property owners, it also has another benefit. Having this many saguaros around helps some that uh, for property value. On average, a saguaro cacti can go for $100 per foot, which can significantly add to the property value of many homes. While the protected plant falling is cause for concern, longtime owners like Groenhoff says it's something inevitable with these storms. I see them flop down all the time, so it's kind of kind of their cycle. They, they blow over and <laughs> stuff happens. Reporting in Pima County, Sean Mahoney, 13 News.